I've been creative, I would say, my whole life. I've always been interested in the arts. I've always leaned towards language, reading, writing, and uh, creative ventures. I love creativity and art because it's a way that you can take something that can be a challenge or can be something you wouldn't necessarily elect to go through, but you can then have that positive form of self-expression and then hopefully make something either beautiful or thought-provoking or interesting for someone to look at. Um, you know, as we know, not everything can be beautiful, but I hope that when I'm creating, people will at least take a look and go, hmm, what's going on there? And, and take a moment to figure it out. The work that I'm doing right now is the basis is textiles and fiber art and fabric, things like that. I'm using notions. That's just part of what I have in my stash. That's what my current body of work is, is textile based. But I really do consider myself a mixed media artist. And then it's just a matter of which way I'm going with the application at that time. For example, I've worked with collage, I've done assemblage. There's always been that mixture of things. piece that I've received the award for is one of the first pieces, if not the first, that I've created in this newer body of work using textiles. It's called Motherhood Void. While it's reflective of my journey with motherhood or, you know, my experience with it, I like to think that the work that I create is universal in a way, meaning that each of the pieces that I will create, it's usually about me or about my way of processing life, but I think that a lot of them are relatable people can relate to them in different ways. So with void, there's the symbolism, there's like the empty womb, there's that void of not having the child. And that could take any number of different forms in terms of the specific void. Were they never able to have children? Did they have a baby and lose the baby? You know, there's so many different ways that it could be interpreted. And it's very interesting to see the different reactions that people have to my work. I think oftentimes people look at it and because there's so many stitches, it's also very carefully done. Even if it doesn't look perfect, like sometimes the stitches are purposely erratic or not uniform, but people do go look at it and they're like, oh my God, because they realize it must have taken ages to do the stitching and it does, but that's part of my process and I like the way that it comes out visually. The Distinguished Award for Fiber Art goes to Melody Nunez. This is my first year with Art Venture. Finding out that I was selected as an awardee was very exciting. My husband entered last year and he was selected to show. We came over, it was great. We attended the reception and we're like, wow, this is fabulous. So I was like, hmm, I think I'm gonna enter next year. And uh, I was very pleased to get two pieces accepted. I don't create art for outside validation, but it's always nice to get that too. So it was nice to know that my work was seen and valued by the judges. And it's, it's just always a pleasure, of course, to participate in the show and just be part of the art community as well.